What's up guys and the bomb has been dropped. We have the first look of the Galaxy S11 courtesy of OnLeaks. He gave us the first look of the Galaxy S11. You're looking at it. This is the design based on the official factory CAD. And well, Samsung has certainly taken some interesting decision regarding the design this time around. So let's get right into it. So first up, I'm going to talk about the back design. This is where we have the biggest change, a new design for the cameras. So we have a big rectangle that is having rounded edges it's having five camera holes in it including the flash as well as a sensor this is probably going to be a depth sensor or it might be the spectrometer we're not exactly sure about that but yeah it is a big camera layout it's somewhat similar to the google pixel 4 i mean if you look at the black background it's certainly very overwhelming i mean look at the amount of cameras we have it's an interesting design change because this shows that this time around samsung is more focused on features rather than the design this obviously doesn't look all that pretty but i don't care about how it looks i'm more interested in what this camera can do what kind of images we can get out of this camera because this definitely looks like something serious so far these are the camera specs we have total of five cameras one of them could be the brand new bigger sensor size 108 megapixel camera a 5x optical zoom that is optically stabilized as well can be inside and then we're gonna see ultra wide angle lens and of course a depth sensor and possibly a spectrometer this is a huge huge camera setup indeed according to the source there will be a camera bump on the galaxy s11 so it's not going to be completely flushed in and uh, overall design wise it's still using the gloss and metal frame we have the samsung logo on the back we have power and volume keys towards the right hand side and towards the left we have nothing samsung has dropped the bixby key as well as the headphone jack forever yes headphone jack is not coming back and at this point in time i actually don't care here I've moved on and obviously there will be some people complaining about it but I do think that it's the right time to finally move on. If you look at the bottom we have the speaker and the type C port for the charging. Moving over to the front this is where the Galaxy S11 design just completely destroys the competition. We have a beautiful bezel-less display. It's rocking punch hole towards the middle similar to the Galaxy Note 10. As far as the size of the punch hole it's looking similar in size. It could be smaller again. These are the factory CAD images. The official version could have slight slight differences there's almost no chin on the phone the side bezels are almost gone as well it is an edge panel it's been said by the source that the edge of the galaxy s11 is not as extreme or not as much as the galaxy s10 family which is very interesting because samsung is pretty much going in opposite direction whereas other brands are like going for waterfall screens and crazy edge panels this time around there will be no flat galaxy s11 models so all these models will have this brand new dynamic amoled hdr plus panel now the screen size for the galaxy s11 is said to be 6.7 inches uh, for the S11e, it can be around 6.3, and the S11 Plus is set to rock almost 6.9 inch, almost 7 inches of display panel that's like the biggest display we have ever seen on a flagship samsung phone the displays itself are getting even larger because of the new aspect ratio so it's going to be like a dollar phone so yeah that's what we have right now in 2020 phones are getting bigger and with these bigger size we're also getting bigger batteries as well which is again a plus point i have to say for me galaxy 7 looks absolutely incredible the cameras are looking a bit overwhelming but then again this is the choice samsung has to make in order to give you proper pro grade camera setup that can take insane photos for me it's always going to be form over look so let's see what this camera can bring on the table one thing interesting to note is that s11 is very similar to the galaxy a51 and the a71 smartphones that were leaked a couple of hours ago so samsung is keeping kind of a same look throughout their phones mid-range flash phones very similar look overall they're also rocking punch hole towards the middle i kind of like this idea because a lot of people can't afford to spend thousand dollar on the s11 so they can definitely spend less on the a51 and still get the same design experience i definitely like this option again some people will have different opinion let me know your thoughts in the comment section below regarding that and yeah this is galaxy s11 let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.